Hi, in this tutorial, I'll introduce you to Cutout Studio, a dedicated studio environment that allows you to separate the subject of a photo from its background. To open Cutout Studio, select the image you want to cut out and, on the Picture Context toolbar, click Cutout Studio. Cutout Studio also includes its own help pane. This answers many common questions about cutting out your images. The image I'm cutting out contains quite a simple background. This means that we can create the cutout easily by working with the discard brush tool. I can now select a large brush and ensure that the grow tolerance is selected. This controls the precision with which the areas are selected. It also tells Cutout Studio to extend the selection area under the brush into the surrounding pixels. This option is most useful when your image has large blocks of colour and the subject has well-defined edges. Now, I just click and drag on the areas of the image I want to discard. To get a better idea of the areas that are to be kept and those that are to be discarded, I'll click the Show Tinted button. Because we started with the discard brush, areas marked in red will be discarded. You can see that this area here has incorrectly been marked to be discarded. I can change this by clicking the Keep brush tool. First, I'll change to a smaller brush. Next, I'll zoom in to get a better view. Finally, I just paint over the area I want to keep. You can see how precisely I'm able to select this area. If you have an image that doesn't have quite such well-defined edges, it might be worth turning off the grow tolerance. This gives you a more manual control of the area that gets selected. Let's now preview the image cutout. It looks OK, but to make sure that I haven't missed anything, I can change the background colour. By choosing a bright green, I can see that some of the sky hasn't been removed. I can fix this by using the retouch tools to precisely edit the areas I need to change. I'll use the erase touch-up tool to remove more of the image. You can use any background colour that makes it easy to check your image. It doesn't matter as it won't affect the final transparency. I'm happy with that, so I can finish by clicking OK. My finished cutout image is now on my page ready to resize and place as necessary. Well, that's all for this tutorial. If you need more information, see the How To tab, the Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.